Drift Restaurant, located in the Muir, Halifax's only five-star hotel, is an elegant interpretation of maritime hospitality. With its curved plank ceiling over the bar, reminiscent of a schooner's hull, and driftwood sculptures, there are a lot of nods to the maritimes in the restaurant design. But it's the food where maritime flavor comes to life, as the kitchen crew serves up a course of dishes using local ingredients and inspired by Nova Scotia traditions. I'm sitting here on the Halifax waterfront at Drift Restaurant. And Drift has a unique place in Halifax. Not only is it the anchor restaurant of amazing hospitality group, but it's sitting right beside the iconic stairs leading down to the Halifax Harbor. And there's a lot of restaurants and a lot of buzz in this area. So fair to say though, this is the anchor? Yeah, I would say if I would call it that, I would call it the anchor for sure, uh, the jewel in the crown, perhaps. You know, a lot of the ideas and a lot of the ethos behind it was thanks to our partner, Scott McRae, who is the owner of the Armour Group, uh, who are the developers that, you know, built this amazing visionary property, decided that, you know, putting Halifax on the map was an important thing and having a luxury hotel was an important thing. So the Muir, uh, the ethos certainly is of this place and Drift is an arm of that. So in terms of the food, how do you bring in maritime flavors, but give them a twist? Yeah. You're working with some really kind of classic -y dishes that you're putting your own modern little spin on, right? All great food cultures have that kind of peasant cooking backgrounds and, they, and, they've, been, and they've been elevated. And if we happen to be in Nova Scotia, that means a lobster tail or two, right? <laughs> well, you know, a lobster tail or two. Probably back then the lobsters were disregarded as being, you know, uh, not very great and certainly not to the indulgent uh, ingredient that it is today. Everything here, we, we do our best to, to, to have that Nova Scotian cap on when we're looking at things like, you know, for example, the cocktail program or the wine program. We definitely look towards the beautiful, rich soil of the Annapolis Valley. So, so lucky to have such an amazing wine growing region. So how would you say if I was a customer coming in the door, what's the experience I expect at Drift? First and foremost, the elevation is one thing. We are in a five-star hotel, uh, yada, yada. So there are certain things that come with that, certain points of service that we are expecting to achieve. What would be the most important for us is offering that Nova Scotian hospitality, that friendliness, that unpretentious kind of, you know, come in, doesn't matter what you're wearing, doesn't matter who you are, you just come in, awesome. enjoy yourself, relax in a gorgeous setting down by the water. And, and obviously and successful enjoy some great food, yeah. Because number fifty-seven on Canada's top one hundred list of best restaurants in the country. So, I would say that local ingredients, local hospitality, and a little, as you say, yada yada, uh, I mean, <laughs> must come must uh, equate to greatness. Certainly, those lists are great. The accolades are fantastic, but you know, as hospitality professionals, we just do what we do. You know, we come into work every day, and really, you know ensure that, that the guest experience is paramount and, sure. and take care of the people that come to eat here, yeah. Okay. Well, I'd say cheers to that. Cheers. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Now I'm sitting with Chef Lawrence Deneau. And Lawrence is a Halifax native, but he's cooked around the world and he's led up some pretty good kitchens here in Halifax and throughout Nova Scotia. Tell us a little bit about you know, what goes into a dish. And I mean, like, how do you select ingredients? What, put it in a menu item. So here at Drift, we focus on Nova Scotia. It's really the province, the terroir, the farmers, the small fishermen, the small villages where they set up markets. We go out and find that. And we set up relationships with them and bring it back here. So we're very proud to be able to do dishes like the hodgepodge, which, you know, might not be your grandmother's hodgepodge, but we've, we've, we've gone out and found these people who can showcase these amazing elements of Nova Scotia, so. Yeah, this doesn't look like my grandma's hodgepodge. My grandma's hodgepodge probably carrots cooked sure. to death in them. Yeah. What elevates your version? Well, we've, we've had a lot of time to kind of focus on this and we, we use the best ingredients, the most local. We use a, a farm called Abundant Acres Farm uh, who brings us almost daily fresh produce that you know, originally the hodgepodge started as a vegetable stew. It was a way of uh, focusing and celebrating the spring vegetables. Um, so we've gone and taken that to another level and added some of Nova Scotia's best seafood as well. And you know, elevated it to the point where we have Chef Walsh's Marion brown bread and a nice dill cream. So it is 
fast becoming our signature dish, even in a short time of a couple of years at Drift. Amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig in, try it, and have it with a little tidal bay. So I got a uh, nice crispy veg here. Mm. 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 Well, it's certainly not my grandma's hodgepodge, but thank you for that. Oh, you're <laughs> my pleasure. I'm back from Drift Restaurant, where they serve up elevated maritime cuisine. And they served me a delicious dilly maritime hodgepodge. I'm going to try and recreate it, but put my own twist on it. I'm going to use some local scallops from aficionado. I'm going to make a garlic scape pesto. These straight from the garden of one of our on-air personalities, Sheldon McLeod. And then some produce I've collected from my local farm market. Some new potatoes, carrots, beans, and peas, some fresh dill. I promise it's going to be delicious. To a pot, add one cup butter, one cup milk, one cup cream, two cups of new potatoes, halved or quartered, bring to a boil. Add six cups of summer vegetables, reduce heat to simmer, simmer for up to one hour. Season with salt, add one quarter cup fresh dill to finish. Add one tablespoon butter to a pan, one tablespoon olive oil. When the butter is melted, lay down scallops and sear for one to two minutes per side. To a blender, add 10 garlic scapes diced, half a cup basil leaves, two tablespoons pine nuts lightly toasted, add one quarter cup finely grated Parmesan cheese, the juice and zest of one lemon, half a cup of olive oil. Blend until smooth. To serve, place hodgepodge in a bowl Top with a few scallops, the garlic scape pesto, garnish with a sprig of dill. Now all it's left to do is to give this a try. And when I dig in, I want to get a little bit of that garlic scape pesto, a bit of scallop. I want to make sure I get some of that cream and vegetables. Mm. Super fresh, super lemony, and super delicious. I'm going to wash it down with a glass of Nova Scotia Chardonnay. And if you want to, you know, elevate your maritime dining experience, really head down to the waterfront, check out Drift, or make this version at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the recipes and you want to see more.